Hey y'all. I've been asked by a lot of people over the years why I, I just use the King James for my studies. And um, I've, I was exhorted by a dear brother in the Lord the other day to, to upload my testimony. And so I wanted to go ahead and, and do that and share it with you. Um, when I was a young Christian and I was first married at 21, I had an NIV and my husband used the King James and uh, he didn't want to have anything to do with the NIV and when I started reading his Bible and I saw the differences I didn't understand why there would be such differences and that's when I started looking into the manuscript evidence and it was actually the scholarly evidence that made me um, realize there was a preserved line of text and I do understand both sides of it on a scholarly level, and I absolutely believe God's word that he preserved a line, and that we have it today. And uh, so on an intellectual level, it, it would make sense if you know that God's preserved his word to use that preserved word. There's a lot of other reasons to use it. It's absolutely majestic. It's strong. It's strongest on the deity of Christ and the lordship of Christ. And um, there's just a ton of reasons, let alone the confusion that everybody having a different version causes. And um, uh, just, yeah. But here's the real reason that I stay here. Over the 20 one years I will I have on occasion I haven't for a long time um, but tried to use a modern translation from my main studies and um, because there will be things that I like about any given one um, you know the Holman I like how it uses Messiah for you know Christ. It doesn't make people that, translations that use Christ wrong, I just happen to like that, or hallelujah in the Psalms. Do you see what I'm saying? There's certain things that I will like about it, so I will try. I tell you what though, every time I have used it as my main Bible for Bible study, I got led astray. And it did not last me using something else long. Now, I've got friends that use modern translations. They believe the word, they study the word, and they memorize the word from their translations and they're, you know, they're just fine. I got led astray. I see the changes. It's different. It's just, it, yeah. But my testimony is this. Over, it probably took me about a year to come to the King James. And it has never, ever, ever in all that time led me astray. Never, ever has it led me astray. I've heard people say that, you know, the reading level of the King James isn't that hard and it's easy and and um, it's not as hard as people make it out to be. Um, and I've seen people, because it's the only Bible that I give out in ministry is the King James, and uh, I've seen people pick it up all different levels of education and just read it and and grow and understand and God's used it here's the funny thing um, even though at that point in time when I switched I only had my bachelor's at that point but I did have a college education I was high school educated I did have college education but I had never been um, exposed to the King James growing up. It's, the wording was not familiar to me or anything. And for whatever reason, I had a bear of a time with it. And I will tell you, for a year, I sat with a dictionary by my side. And I didn't even know about the Webster's 1828 then. So I just had a regular Webster's dictionary. And I spent a year and probably every few sentences I was looking something up in that dictionary. It took me forever to study. So I understand for the people that say, you know what, it's really hard. But if it is for you, persevere in it. Because it, you know, 
is not going to be that hard forever. It's not. Um, it's beautiful and it's easy now and it sticks in your memory and it stays in your heart and it produces good fruit. And so the bottom line, and, and I'll try to provide some, some you know, scholarly uh, links for you if you're interested. I'm, I'm not going to comment on that here because it's already been done a million times over. But my personal testimony is this. This book has not led me astray. Never. Not once. In over two decades. Not once. Love it. Read it. Study to show yourself approved. God bless you and savor your Savior.